everybody, welcome to the channel, thanks for stopping by, if it's your first time here, thank welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back, remember, first things first, we'll get into the YouTube stuff, please press the like and the subscribe button, and I'm going to be firing out some more topics, so stay tuned, okay, we'll get into the topic now, it's the peaks, valleys, and pinnacles of a chosen one. Now, as a chosen one, it's not always a linear path. We're not always on a linear path. What I'll say to you is, is that we go for a myriad of experiences and within those experiences are peaks and valleys. So sometimes we're on our way up the mountain, then we hit our peak, then we'll slowly descend, we'll go down, we'll go through some trials, some tribulations, and we'll start to ascend onto the next pinnacle, onto the next mountain to reach our pinnacle, to reach our peak. And this is the way that the formation that life kind of takes place. And when you come accustomed to that and realize that it's not a linear path and that we are on peaks and valleys, you understand that we will endure some certain hardships and some certain trials within this time. So, all I'll say to you is stay equipped, stay focused, stay on your purpose. The main thing that, the main attribute that you need to have in your tool belt is having your purpose. But when you have your purpose and you have some projects that you need to work on, whatever projects they may be, um, this gives you the tools that you need and the fortitude to get through life because it's not all easy it's not all a downhill roller coasting we have to climb in this world we have to fight and i don't mean physically fight but i mean spiritually fight we need to keep our strengths up about us and it's easy to gain, gain accustomed to gaining our dopamine rushes from social media and falling into lazy ways um, but as they say sloth is one of the five deadly sins and we shouldn't get into that kind of rhythm of life because it's all frequency and when we base it down to the fact that we need to stay on harmony and with harmony is love so we stay radiating with love we stay radiating with um pureness wholesomeness all of these kind of attributes and we understand that it's not a linear path and that we're going to be traveling on peaks trellies uh peaks valleys and we're going to hit, hit our pinnacle but after we hit our pinnacle there's another mountain that we need to get to the pinnacle of so it's a climb it's a fight it's, it's we have to work through it so um this is what happens with a chosen one's life. We, it's, it's, it's not an easy ride. Everyone talks about the good side of it, but it's not an easy ride. We go, we go through certain things. Sometimes God brings people into our life as a test. And those people may be family members. They may be significant others. Um, and they're only there for a season. They're not actually meant to be there for a whole life. And sometimes that's why when we focus too much on people, we start to, we start to think that... Um, we start to lose despair or if, we, if those friendships or relationships end, we start to understand why. But it's because they was only there meant for a season. And we've got to continue on the battle. Um, there's different various battles that we'll go through. It's all different in our situations, but um, it's all peaks and valleys. And we've got to enjoy the time up, climbing the mountain when we reach our top. And when we slowly descend, we've got to enjoy all parts of the journey. And by us enjoying all parts of uh, enjoying all parts of the journey, and we come equipped with the fact that we're staying on our purpose and staying on our grind, staying on our focus. Um, we won't allow these environmental influences to kind of affect us, um, because we know it's all part of the destination. That's why there's a saying: it's more about the journey than the destination because the journey takes us on these peaks and valleys and there's ups and downs and these, these things through life but it's just part of the process and 
when you you've got to, you've got to think outside the box. Just continue thinking outside the box because one thing I will say about being a chosen one is you can fall back asleep, and um, you don't want to fall back asleep because it's it's going back. It's going. It's not. Do you know what? It's part of the journey. That's that's the thing. We we fall asleep, but it's part of the journey because we will awaken again and we'll start to remember the things from before and yesterday and months ago and years ago and we'll start to add it all up and calculate it but just know that you're gifted you're blessed and if you're a chosen one you're blessed and there's many of you out there but we're a rarity um there's more people talking about this chosen one topic than there is actually chosen ones but hopefully this reaches the right people thank you for watching uh, help brother up it's the like and subscribe button i'll catch you in the next video Peace.